Hi, Lolani. We're talking uh, to uh, Lolani Teal at uh, Thomas Square at Occupy Honolulu. Uh, what's up? And, and who is this on your lap? This is Leah. Hi, Leah. She has been, actually. Now, what draws you, what, what brings you down to uh, Occupy Honolulu? Well, um, I've been an activist in the Hawaiian movement for most of my life. Um, and also things, anti-war stuff and all kinds of uh, conscious struggle, I guess you could say, in general, as well as being a musician and um, participating in creative processes. But as a Native activist, I feel pretty strongly that it's important for us to support conscious movements that will correct the problems inherent and each other. The, um, it's important for us to participate actively in conscious movements um, that are focusing on correcting the very deep problems inherent in the forces that are illegally occupying our aina. So it's an interesting paradox that we face as Kadaka Maoli because the word occupy means a lot to us, yeah? Um, back in the old days, I guess when 20 years ago when I participated in uh, what were then called land occupations, we, you know, did a lot of occupying, you know, we occupied sacred sites, we occupied, um, we occupied uh, ancestral lands, we, people are still doing that to this day. But we've kind of stayed away from the word occupy in general because of the fact that we are trying to bring realization to um, an understanding about the illegal military occupation of Hawaii as a whole by the United States of America, which right. has no business here. And that's not anything against the American people. You know, as you can see, there are many Americans here. <laughs> We love them, but at the same time, the United States government and its military forces have absolutely no business on our aina, and that is the truth of the matter. They have no legality in being here, and they need to to admit that, and they need to leave. Right. Um, and again, we're talking about the forces, the military violent forces not necessarily the people. Um, uh, so, it's important for us to support those who are working directly on the problems that the United States has so that America can get a little more conscious as a whole, that American people can get a little more conscious so that they can encourage their supposedly democratic government to withdraw from oh, our yeah, aina, where it has absolutely no business. So, you know, it, I, and at the same time, we're all conscious people of the world, and we all need to support each other no matter what, in all of our, um, all of our engagements, all of the things that we do. We need people to support native movements, you know, so some of these folks have come out and they've come to support when we've had actions right. and when they need help, I want to be here to support them too and that's how we will make each other stronger and that's how we will really bully this big ugly thing that we are facing. So you see a connection then uh, between the... Um Kanaka Maoli, Hawaiian sovereignty kind of actions, and this Occupy movement that started uh, in um, Occupy Wall Street in New York. You see them as being connected then. Oh, yeah. Um, 
it's important to keep the connections that are happening. And not only are they connected to is the movement that's here right now, um, you know, we as the Tanaka Maui movement are connecting to this Occupy Honolulu movement with a slash with across, the slash the across Occupy, <laughs> right? Um, you know, we are connecting to them and they are connecting to the greater Occupy movements that are happening in Wall Street and elsewhere. And the, um, and the, uh, if you sit down, sorry, wait a second, you go over here. And those movements are connected to what's happening worldwide. Egypt, 